is really interesting. It says Carl. What in the world is that? I mean, I've never seen anything like it. Hey, it's Jason with Denmark. Got something pretty cool today. It's a 1923 Model T Touring. The Touring is the four or the three door. You can see it's got three doors. I've got a millennial in there learning to drive it. He actually has never driven one before. Today was the uh, the first day. Stanley's thinking he's next. So they're not too hard uh, to drive. They're actually really fun. And I hope that uh, people start taking attention to, or uh, paying attention to these again. Because they, they kind of act like an automatic uh, transmission. You know, if you understand the bands, high and a low. Reverse works the same way. So they're actually not that, that hard, but super fun. So. We're just gonna walk around it a little bit. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the lights. The lights only work on high. There's a high and a low, and when you hit it on, uh, turn it on low, it kind of drops down, but there's no lights. Drops down to idle, so go ahead and turn the lights off. We're selling this for uh, a young lady. She's around 91 years old. Her and her husband love this thing actually helping her with a couple cars that we sold on bring a trailer already and um, this one was one of their favorite just a really nice rig they actually had it at the brooks powerland museum for a while so it was her and her husband's favorite uh, car he had passed a few years ago and pretty known in the community it's got all steel fenders everything steel on it all original Henry Ford uh, steel. So anyways, if you guys need help selling anything and you think like me and don't mind showing issues and problems and goods and bads, I'd surely be glad to help you. You can actually uh, check us out on our website. It's denworks.com, D-E-N-W-E-R-K-S. It's E-R-K-S, Denworks, or you can check us out on Instagram and Facebook. So. Anyways, we're just going to walk around it a little bit. Stanley and Shelby are going to attack the mailman over there, which is one of their treats. That's a new guy who doesn't have no treats, so they're going to be uh, sad. So I just want to take a look at the fenders. Go ahead and shut it off so we can hear it or not hear it. Um, I have never tried to start it with crank. It does have a uh, foot control on the uh, back there or uh, on the floor so you can... Uh, electric started you're gonna notice original headlights but this one is a Ford and this one is Hudson you'll notice there but you can see the script here not a lot of reproduction parts on this one you can see the Ford emboss there and on that that one there you know if this if you do need anything there's a lot of parts for these available and reproduction and original if you're wondering what this gear is this is actually for a speedometer which everything isn't there the speedometer is on the uh, dash a lot of a lot of um parts were developed uh through these for the through the years so they were you know doing different things trying different things so this here this little wire if you were out here cranking it over that is for the choke You'll see here, Ford embossed there. The tires are in pretty good shape, but you're gonna see, you know, it's kind of funny in today's standards, you would think, man, these tires are horrible, but there is some uh, weather checking on these and little cracks, but Model T guys, I mean, they kind of just put up with this. Um, this is a 20, let's see, it's a 30, let's see. I can't remember the size. I thought it was going to be a 22. Uh, this here says 30 by 31. Um, so big tires. Wood spoke. You can see here. Some of them have a um, wire, you know, wire wheel. But these are wood spoke, and they're actually in really good shape. You can see it's they're not all cracked up or anything like that. They're actually pretty good. Uh, tires are the same all the way around. You can see there's the cracks around actually it's 30 
by three and a half. Sorry about that. Um, original caps, original running boards, again with the script. Everything on this thing is actually in really good shape. Fenders are very smooth. A lot of these cars, when they were restored, people, you know, they just worked on them and a lot of garage type stuff. But this looks like it was probably professionally painted at some point. Splash guards look good. Bottom of the doors and the cowl. Everything looks very nice on this car. You know, not perfect, but overall really nice and very straight. Not many cars can wear wear black, and this one does it actually really well. Go ahead and put the... I know the brake light doesn't work, but the... Uh, the uh, I don't think it was set up with brake lights, uh, but it has lights back here. Spare tire. You know, sometimes you'll see damage in here. Or bad repairs. This one actually looks really nice. Top is in good shape. You know, overall. No rips or anything like that. Take you around to the other side. We'll show you the interior real fast. You're going to see a couple little chips right there. So when we walk around the other side, I'll have Keegan pop out of it and we'll just take a look. But again, everything is real good. In general fenders look nice you'll notice there's only three steps one two and three there is not a door on the other side so it's a three door uh, and this is kind of suicide they open this way and this one opens that way so we'll go ahead and uh, walk around to the other side Keegan's gonna hop out real fast actually I lied show them how it starts so right here is the key this is throttle this is your just you know your distributor um, adjustment and that's a the brake here if you have it halfway you're gonna be in kind of a neutral and you actually go forward a little bit see how that pedal moved right there pull it back when that pedal moves back that tells you that you could put this in second gear but first gear you push it down and the fast, you, you, the harder you push it down, the faster you go, and then you let up on it. If this is all the way forward, you'll kick in the second gear, reverse, and then brake, right there. So it's actually not that that hard um, in general. And show that little light uh, working there. Got to have the key. On. Oh, yeah. See, dash light. Nice. The amp gauge is not working. And the speedometer over there isn't working either. But this one here is uh, your choke. And this is fuel mixture. Once you kind of, when you start it, you kind of have it rich. And then after it starts and warms up a little bit, you, you turn it in a little bit. So a lot of them are kind of different. You got to mess around with it as you go. So anyways, he's got the uh, brake on there. And right down there is a little... You push down with your foot, got the key on, you gotta give a little gas, a little fuel. Maybe we'll pull the choke a little bit. Okay. Hold on. One thing I we don't hear, turn it over a little bit. Stop. I don't hear the little uh, coil boxes uh, moving there. Do it one more time. Kick it over one more. There we go. Okay. Now, sorry that took us a second, but I mean, it's a learning experience. There's these coil boxes down here. There's four of them in here. And that's your uh, coil. So as the engine turns over, you'll hear this buzz, 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 buzz. And so they're doing it um, in a certain order. And the key wasn't in the right spot is what happened. And the coil boxes weren't working. So obviously we didn't have spark. So here's your, your throttle there. I'm going to go on the other side so I can open the door for you. 
kind of nice when a plan comes together and you can't get something started, but that's the way it is. The interior is actually pretty nice in it. If you look at the seats, actually in good shape. They're not all ripped up. If you look underneath here, that's where your gas tank is. Now, if you're wondering how much gas it has in it, you got to open it up and take a look. Some people will have a little stick. You can see a little rip right there in the, on the edge of the seat when it goes down. The panels have a little bit of wear, you know, here on the top. In general, old registration, all the way back to 1981. So this has been with this family for a long, long time. And probably previous uh, to that, uh, 11, 12, actually processed it. Yeah, 1981. A long time ago. If you look here, this isn't working, like I mentioned already. Got little stops here. Wooden floor looks actually in good shape. No rust around the doors. They shut nice. And we'll look back here. Again, this one looks in good shape, and we'll take a look at the seat again store stuff down there if you wanted to so wood floor again actually is in pretty good shape overall I actually had a model T it was a 1911 and it was converted back in the day um, by a company and this back folded down into a bed it was almost like the first uh, camper we're gonna go ahead and look underneath the hood real fast Keegan wanted to help me real fast you just pull these up, push down. There we go. And just kind of lay the hood right there. So Model T engine, little four cylinder. This here, when you turn that knob inside that I was talking about, right here, that's for your fuel mixture. You can see, he's kind of turning it. And then this one here was your choke. And you can see when I lifted it up, it kind of choked it off. And then there's that choke wire I was talking about when we were in front of it in general. So pretty nice. And right behind here is the coil boxes. So you can see they go to the spark plug. Actually pretty cool. The horn isn't working, but that's what that is. We'll take a look at the other side real fast. Right here is your thermometer. You can tell if you're overheating or not. It's gonna be in the middle range up there. That's pretty cool. And this here on the other side of the engine, you can see the Ford strip down there. The ID number 7811342. That is the uh, number that's on the title as well. So, and I just noticed here, we lost our belt, so we need to put a new belt on it. So, you notice the fan's not working. You don't think I would have noticed that on the other side. So, anyways, we're uh, going to show you some more stuff. And it's really not a, a big deal. That fan right now is just cooling, would be cooling the uh, radiator. But this didn't have a water pump on it or anything like that. So, um, it's just natural flow by heat and stuff like that. But we definitely want to, we're going to be driving around, we want to put a belt on that. So, and I have an extra one. So we'll go ahead and uh, show you some more stuff.